All right, and welcome back to uh, video four of four in uh, chapter six, dealing with what if analysis uh, with Microsoft Excel 2016. Uh, in this particular video, we're going to be looking at uh, another tool uh, within Excel called Solver. It's an add-in application, uh, and based off of uh, manipulation of values and variables, um, it will go ahead and present the uh, most optimal. Uh, solution uh, or scenario uh, given the restrictions. Um, so let's go over to our worksheet that we've been working with again. Uh, we're looking at uh, monthly sales, commission rates, taxes, uh, figuring out basically a net income. So one of the things first you need to do uh, in uh, Excel is go to the file menu, click down to options, and go to add-ins. This is the solver is a uh, is a tool is an add-in that is not uh, automatically installed with Excel. Um, I have it actually installed right here um, but what you need to do is again with Excel options go to add-ins. Um, you should see it down here in the inactive applications. Go ahead and select it. Click go. It will give you an add-in pop-up and it gives you the uh, it, it gives you the the add-ins that you're available to install. So select the solver add-in, click OK, and what you'll find is on the data tab you have an analyze section here that has the solver. Um, so again, what we're going to be doing in this particular video in this particular scenario is we're going to be looking at um, how we can optimize in this particular scenario our net income based off of some variables. Uh, dealing with, uh, we'll look at uh, commission rates and tax rates and things of that nature. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click Solver. And what that's going to do is it's going to bring up a series of parameters. And uh, so we're going to use uh, this max objective for our net income. Um, so we're going to look at what, how can we, how can we maximize given our monthly sales are 125,000. How can we maximize, uh, or what would be the maximum or most optimal value of that? Um, so what I've identified here is uh, we're changing cells B3 and B4, which are the commission, commission rate or tax rate. So those are the ones, the variables that we're going to go ahead and, um, and, and kind of fluctuate. And I've put in some constraints. So constraints are basically a set of limitations on either low or high end uh, in terms of um, what kind of optimal balance or, or uh, uh, you can get between um, maximizing in this particular scenario our net income given some fluctuation in our commission rate and our tax rate um, and, and how that plays out into a real world situation given a certain tax rate um, the taxes go up to in this particular case five and a half percent um, what's the maximum or what's the, what's the optimal commission rate that we can provide to our sales force uh, in, in order to still maintain that bottom line net income uh, as opposed to let's just say um, or, or conversely is given a lower tax rate still trying to meet that that maximum income uh, what's the you know what's the uh, What's the commission rate we can afford to pay our, our sales force? So what I've created here is I've created a series of constraints. And again, you can go in and uh, you can click the Add button. Again, you can identify what your sales or what your uh, your constraint is going to be. Uh, so again, if you want to you know if you want to modify your you know if you want to modify your tax rate or commission rate, you can go ahead and do that. But essentially, what I've done is I've created some boundaries in terms of my lower and high ends of, of tax rate and then commission rate and we're going to run this this uh, this solver or uh, this particular scenario through um, and again if you want to you can remove however you want to do that so essentially what you do is once you set up all your constraints you go ahead down here and click solve and it works its magic in the in the background uh, and if you have no errors if you have um, you know, if you have no uh, uh, problems with the, the parameters that you put in there, um, you can go ahead and uh, 
uh, you can click on uh, these reports. There's an answer, there's a sensitivity, and there's a limits report. Go ahead and select each one of those and click OK. And what that does is that creates a series of reports. Now you'll notice here in your um, you know, here in your in your worksheet, it's set a commission rate three uh, percent, given the tax rate and all that. That's the optimal solution. But what it's also provided down here in this answer report is kind of a kind of a rundown of uh, what you can set your uh, based on your constraints. The optimal conditions being satisfied. So again, you want your original, you got your final value. Um, if you look based off of this, it identifies that the final value, the most optimal value, commission rate and tax rate are both at 3%. Um, again, this is identifying your constraints here. It gives you a sensitivity report, um, you know, which basically kind of uh, provides some of the, uh, the behind the scenes stuff in terms of, uh, you know, uh, just basically the, the, I guess, the sensitivity of, of the, um, uh, the, the variables themselves. Not really too much information for us from, a, from a, that perspective. Uh, but then again it, again, it gives us kind of the, the limits report. So in this particular um, scenario, again, you've got the, um, you, you've got your, your, your values that come up as being optimal. You've got your lower and your upper limit based off of the parameters that we put in there. Um, and if we go back to our original worksheet again, you know, you kind of, again, you get that, uh, that maximum commission rate with minimal income tax rate or inc and, and, and values uh, in a sense that, uh, you know, now at this particular level, based off of these monthly sales, um, you're still achieving your target uh, net income um, of uh, $117,500. Uh, you're paying as low as balance between commission and tax is where you're paying your salespeople as much as you can given your tax requirement based off of that, that particular rate. So again, um, all of your one variable table values and two table variable values um, are updated accordingly. So again, it gives you kind of that broad spectrum what if type scenario. Um, again, you can go back in here to Solver. Uh, you can go in and you can uh, check out um, and you can essentially um, check out what your what your constraints are. You can go in here and modify those constraints to kind of run supplemental uh, scenarios in this particular uh, instance here where we're dealing with monthly sales, net income, and commission and taxes, and you just kind of get that balance. Uh, but again, depending on what your scenario is, what your input values are, um, it's not always going to be the lower end of the spectrum. Uh, you might find that uh, the more variables and input uh, values that you have, uh, the more they kind of interact, uh, the more they kind of are dependent on each other uh, to where that that lower value is not always going you know, to be the most optimal. Uh, and again, that's also going to uh, be conditional on what type of calculations you're doing um, and how those, those variables impact the calculations. So my recommendation, again, is just to go in here Kind of play with Solver once you get it installed, see how it works, see how the, uh, the constraints kind of factor into um, these reports that are given, uh, and just get familiar with the overall tool because, again, this is a very, um, a very valuable tool uh, within Microsoft Excel uh, to kind of give you that another be kind of best case scenario, more so than just the scenario manager does. It allows you to kind of put more, um, more variation in, and, and flexibility in terms of how many variables you can work with and what those values can range. Um, so again, if you have any questions, any comments, need any assistance with it, uh, please contact me at ryanfree at ppcc.edu.